So my advice to you today is to overcome fear. Before I leave, I will close with um, you know these three things. I, I might expand on them much later, but um, you know just just hear me out. Okay, number one, bold steps produce great results. So sometimes you're afraid, and that thing you're afraid of, that next step that you're afraid of doing, that big thing that you're afraid of doing is actually the game changer. Like this video I'm recording, I've been afraid to do it for so long, and I even told one of my friends yesterday, I was like, listen, I just don't want to shower and comb my hair. You know, I, I just, I was just like, no, I don't want to pick up myself and do this because I was literally looking for any reason not to sit down and record so that I don't have to edit, which is another thing that I'm you know, sort of afraid of. But really, this bold step that I've taken to sit down and talk to you, to sit down and inspire someone, it's going to produce great results. It might not be to me directly, but the hope is that it impacts you and that is a great result. So always remember that bold steps produce great results. Number two, just try. Honestly, at the at the end of life, if you just picture yourself maybe in your deathbed or something, um, or even in movies, you know, we see it, it's not far-fetched. But just imagine that you you were old and gray-haired or whatever. Imagine yourself just telling someone, oh, you know, when I was your age, I wanted to do this and that and that, but I regret not doing it. But you know how you could have reversed that regret? By just trying. What you would have told that young person is, hey, guess what? I wanted to do this, this, and this, and this when I was younger. And you know what? I tried, you know? When I tried it, it failed. So I moved on to the other thing, and I moved on to, you know? Now, the, the, the key thing there is that every day you need to wake up and try. You might not succeed. The person that invented the light bulb did not succeed the first time. I was talking about this to my friends the other day. But... What matters is that they kept on trying and you need to keep trying no matter how long it takes. You need to keep trying. So every day, just wake up and tell yourself, today, I am going to try. So number two is just try. Number three, <laughs> this is personal as well, but I know that some of you are going to relate to it. And number three is, if you're scared of offending people, you will never grow. It's that simple. Again, if you're scared of offending people, you will never grow. I'm going to give you a personal example. Coming on YouTube means that you're literally airing your opinions. You're talking about, about things the way you see it, right? And if any of you have been with Memco for a while, you know that we pride ourselves in talking about those issues and things that nobody else likes to talk about you'll know that we pride ourselves in having those conversations and discussions that would normally unnerve people. Now, when it comes to YouTube, I was afraid because I honestly didn't want to be in a situation where I'm saying something that offends people. But now that I've realized that it's almost inevitable to come out and air my opinions without one or two people getting offended, hey, I'm going to do it. So remember, if you are scared of offending people, you will never grow. Because what that means is that you're always going to kind of put yourself in the limits that people place you in. And you will not be able to shoot up. Versus if you knew your abilities and you just step out and do that thing with or without the possibility of offending people. Now, I'm not trying to say you should go out there and just be plain rude and offensive. But I'm saying that if what you want to do is truly good and truly impactful and truly positive, but your fear boils down to offending people, then just take it that that's, that's an invalid fear. Don't, don't have such a fear. Step out and do it. This YouTube channel is going to impact many lives and is going to take people to the next step. So why should I be afraid of offending people when I air one or two opinions? Okay, so again, number three, if you're scared of offending people, you will never grow. And number four is something I talked about earlier. If you were dropped into this world alone, you'd be unstoppable. I've talked about it before. Anytime you're afraid, please just do this. Close your eyes and picture that you're the only person in this world. What would you do? Positive things, please, not negative things, like har harming and hurting people. 
positive things, what positive thing would you do? Would you be unstoppable? If yes, then be unstoppable. Thank you so much. And I really, really look forward to having more discussions with you. You can stay connected with us on Instagram at Mempo. You can also stay connected with us here on YouTube by liking and following this channel or by subscribing to this channel, Mempo TV. You can also follow us on Facebook, Official Mempo. Twitter, I'm barely there, but it's Mempo everywhere, literally. So please stay connected with us. And of course, you should visit our website, www.mempo.com. I style and I uh, I'm also a personal shopper. So you'd see my portfolio there. You'd see our blog. You'd see all the styling services that we offer and more.